пользователей нихуя не знаю. Hello, hello, everyone. Remember, this video is made for educational purposes and contains significant original text commentary. So, let's get it on. If you find our video interesting, please comment number one. If not, um, please comment number two. Hmm. По правилам прочитай, должен уступить мне дорогу. По правилам должен уступить мне дорогу. Где ты, ты, блядь, вообще что ли нихуя не знаешь? Well, before teaching each other how to drive safely, please move the car somewhere else and uh, don't stand in the middle of the road like that. Mm. Блядь, я сейчас мусоров вот так поехали, блядь, вызову нас. Давай. Охуевший, блядь. Давай выходи. Thank you everyone for helping us reach 30k subscriptions. If you haven't participated yet, quickly register to reach 40k together. <laughs> Your support is a valuable motivation for us. become a good driver, the first thing you need is to know how to observe. Hmm. I guess the traffic light installers will be very sad when they see this scene. Tesla versus Lexus Rage. I think they need a referee. Yeah. <laughs> Please help them call the police. Do you think this truck is flirting with this BMW? This must have been a harsh refusal. I didn't touch you, love. Get back into your car. Look, I've got you on camera, love. Get back into your car, you crazy woman. see what was happening in front of his eyes. He needs to learn how to keep his distance while driving. <laughs> oh my god! Luckily the driver's okay. But does the driver have a driver's license? <laughs> I really wonder.
Do you have any way to help these truck drivers smoothly transport goods through these slippery snowy roads? Hmm? Never ignore red lights. Bro, you see people people cross cross What the f you gonna do? You see people crossing the why are you touching me? Why are you touching me? What the f are you touching me? What the f are you touching me? What the f are you touching me? I will whoop your Then who will clean up this mess? Hmm? On a beautiful morning, if the light makes you disoriented, bring a pair of sunglasses. Oh. oh no, like magic. Where did the truck appear from? The magic show didn't seem to be what the driver expected. The crushing machine works pretty well. No one is inside, but it still gives me an odd feeling. That's what we call road rage, and that's what we need to stay away from while driving. Another road rage incident. Why can't people just calm down and drive peacefully? Luckily, nothing happened, but they shouldn't have their license with that behavior. He was going too fast and didn't keep a safe distance, but luckily, nothing bad happened. Thrilling adventures to the unexpected lessons, right? Let's remain one more time about slowing down for everyone to remember.
we strive to entertain and educate, reminding you about endless possibilities on the road. So be careful and be calm while driving, guys. Well, he's okay, but your car suddenly becoming a boat is quite scary, right? Do we have enough reason for you to stop speeding yet? Then stop speeding, please! The driver was taken to the hospital. No serious injuries. But let's slow down, guys. They might need to hire a new tow truck driver. Don't try this, by the way. Well, Drive more carefully and note the direction arrows on the road when coming into an intersection. This is how not to back your truck. And here we have double rear ends. Luckily this driver has a dash cam, right? about how you need to build relationships when he interrupted Scott with that statement. We loved it. Please pay attention to the roads for all of us. Police responded to the scene soon after these people called. 911, police, fire, ambulance. Our aim is to entertain and educate, igniting your curiosity and broadening your horizons. In Brielle, New Jersey, a man was driving a pickup truck on his way to work when suddenly his vehicle had trouble. Luckily, he opened the door and escaped safely. At a warehouse in Chicago's west side, more than 100 firefighters participated. Fire officials said no workers were working at the warehouse that time. Huh, what a lucky day for the workers. This is the bridge at Potterheim on the Norfolk Broads. A wise choice. He must always turn around and be ready to adapt. <laughs> what do you think? Tuesday afternoon in Prince George's County wasn't a peaceful noon as they expected. The driver said he had mechanical problems with the turbocharger on his 18-wheeler when the tractor unit failed. Emergency preparedness is key to preventing incidents and ensuring driving safely. 
After two days of removing a damaged 100-year-old oak tree on the Anderson University campus, a struggle broke out between a large log and a 70-ton crane. Luckily, no one was injured in this duel. For the shipping industry, this is a serious and also a valuable lesson. Before setting sail, you should carefully check the ship's equipment. Looking at that driver, he seemed to regret why he didn't do regular maintenance in Velsen Nord, especially when transporting oversized goods. Luckily, they were okay, but the car driver certainly had to put aside work to learn this big lesson. So please comply with traffic safety. This driver definitely needs a cup of coffee to stay awake. After this incident, I think the driver will never fall asleep at the wheel again. Please assure me that you regularly maintain your beloved vehicle. You don't want this to happen, right? Ese es el pata, ¿no? Ese es el dueño. No, no, puede ser que explote, claro, la gasolina atrás. Si es a gas, si explota ahorita. Many things like sling capacity, wind, load weight, etc. were contributing factors and the proximate cause appeared to be a failure of the left sling, you know. I think you should make sure you can control the vehicle well before trying long distances. Yeah. yeah. Waste classification is important. Here's a typical example of failure to separate them on Montrose Avenue. Good. Like a oh, yeah, yeah. It's gonna explode one more time. It's gonna explode any minute. La Crescenta had an incident. Fortunately, the driver was able to leave the car in time. Always keep in mind the safe distance, please. This is not what we want, right? A sign for you to be more careful. The police were called, and luckily, the result wasn't too bad. Thankfully, no one was seriously harmed, except for this Tesla. Lane in's merge left sign was ignored, and karma won't forgive anyone for being ignored. I'm 
so glad that everyone looks okay, but don't run the red light, please. This is Fresno, California, by the way. Nothing good about driving through that red light. How did this trucker accomplish this? Safe travels, adventurers, my friends. And here we have the karma come right behind these red light runners. And this white truck, too. Well, Keep seeking the wonders that lie ahead. Keep embracing the joy of learning what not to do on the road. You should have avoided trying to beat the red light. Like this one, and we should have dash cam really. Prayers for the driver. Pay attention to the road, not your phone, guys. Now we know why we need safety barriers. To my knowledge, no one was seriously injured, and also, always remind yourself to wear seat belts and drive on your correct side. And make sure to look ahead for stopping cars. The black smoke from the car at the gas station served as a sudden warning. This is a wake-up call about importance of safety when handling fuel, but also a valuable lesson about preparedness in emergency situations. During a construction project, workers caused the boss to lose a large amount of cement. Therefore, before pouring concrete, it's necessary to carefully check the project to avoid unnecessary errors. In downtown Portland, we have the parking lot nightmare. We can see how bad things can be just because some employee poured gasoline into the generator while the machine was still running. It's important to be aware of safety when working with flammable substances such as gasoline. This is how millions of dollars of big boats in San Diego, California can go up in flames. Anyway, drones are awesome, right? Mm, beautiful footage and camera quality. Luckily, everything's fine. After this, you need to pay attention and be careful when working, my dear friend. Subscribe to the channel for this guy's luck. This incident is a profound warning about promoting safety when traveling and being careful when participating in traffic, right? Using too much electricity can cause the wires to short circuit. Hopefully the electrician will quickly fix it so people's lives can be stabilized. Have you prepared Christmas gifts for your family? We do have. So you were so bothered by, um, by something, but particularly the way First, prepare some winter tires for your vehicle. Second is some clothes. We have some ads for t-shirts, so take a look if you see anything that might be suitable for your family member. 
Here's why you don't just depend on your GPS. I feel like this is his first and last day driving these trucks. Although fortunately no one was injured in this case, this is an important lesson that requires careful planning, equipment inspection, and always following safety regulations when using cranes. Oh my god! Oh my god! The car repair shop nearby will probably be very crowded today because of rubber stoppers. Yes it did! Live! Live! Oh my god! Oh. Slow down and pay more attention to safety when traveling. The miraculous thing is that no one was injured. Being careful and controlling weight is a decisive factor, especially when the job requires absolute precision and safety. Yeah, yeah, good, yeah. Make sure it's firm enough and that there are no signs of slipping or sinking so that your work isn't affected or delayed. Don't know how long it's been there, but someone really needs to pick that package up. This is just a test, so no one was hurt, but you know this is going to happen if anyone wants to speed. Saving a few seconds by speeding is the worst choice you could ever make. Don't drive like this and click that subscribe button instead. We will show you how not to drive on the road. Karma strikes on another speeder. Thankfully, everyone was fine. Not concentrating while driving? Only if you want some karma. Not every day you can see a vehicle that really gives Tesla rear ends, right? Karma will always come to visit road ragers, so try to be calm. So click that subscribe button and learn your lessons through these unlucky drivers. If you meet one of these aggressive drivers, call 911. Let them know road rage is not the answer they need. York Bullards have defeated the bad driver today.
that woman driver in the black car was texting and driving. No major injuries, just this truck driver is a little shocked. As we know, the driver could get out of there soon after that, with no one getting badly injured. Does he know he turned the wrong way yet? I'm wondering about how he got his license now. New York bowlers have defeated the bad driver today. On the busy street of Broadway, the cause may be due to the excessive weight when towing the sports car. But thanks to his intelligence and timeliness, the driver escaped danger and called for help. This guy is a typical example of incidents that occur when repairing electrical equipment without expertise. At this point, he'll have to turn off the power and call a professional to help. This will take him days to clean this wall. Hopefully after this, he'll have to think about the consequences before doing anything. On Interstate 185 in Greenville, rescue has arrived quickly and fortunately the driver was able to escape the car in time. You should check and take your car for regular maintenance, guys. A repairman left his computer plugged in overnight on his workbench. Luckily, there were no casualties. So, turn off the power and check carefully before leaving the workplace, especially if there are electronic devices left plugged in overnight. This caused people here to lose power for quite a long time. Performing regular pruning can prevent unnecessary incidents and ensure a suitable power supply for the community. You know, even being underwater can't solve this problem. The boat owner lost a large amount of money just because he was afraid of losing several thousand dollars to maintain and repair this boat. He seems quite confident and subjective about his driving skills. Concentration and the need to equip safety equipment when driving a motorbike is essential. The lucky thing here is that the driver is safe. The money spent to repair the car is also considered to pay for this expensive lesson. Pickup truck caused a serious traffic jam along Highway 84 in Lubbock County, Texas. Maybe this is a bad day for them. They should control the speed when driving on roads with poor conditions. 
Sometimes, speed can cause big problems. So, adjust your speed by using the brake and throttle gently and flexibly to avoid sudden movements. The driver drove the truck within New Jersey city limits. Fortunately, he overcame this incident and caused the whole city to open a large-scale investigation into the safety of the terrain here. A Mexican helicopter makes an emergency landing in Hidalgo State. Perhaps all their luck is focused on this incident. That's why you always check the equipment before using it. Another driver rear-ends this driver's car and claims he reversed into her. She's gonna be sad that this car has a dash cam. <laughs> and uh, so it's, it's a story of that well speed in the 90s. Jesus Thank you, Alfie. Um, I'm sure you're getting all this long. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Across the red oh, a car's just run into it. And the ambulance. Everyone was okay, but some people should learn to slow down and give way for the ambulance. Another rear end footage. People really need to slow down. Someone should be alert to avoid vehicle stops in the middle of the road like that. It happened around 3.30 a.m. in Brooklyn, New York. Let's be more careful when it's dark, okay? California truck driver saving a second from running a red light and now has to stop there a little longer than he expected. Asian for Western people. You were probably put off by the Oh, fuck! Dude, wait. What is it? One AHK501. Tesla getting rear-ended is much more than I expected. And it's not okay, you know. And here's the karma for the impatient queue-jumping driver. No major injuries, and you know, people should pay more attention to the road. That was today. Going south. After leaving work, the worker smelled a burning smell from the car and immediately ran out of there. This is a testament to quick thinking, which emphasizes the paramount importance of staying alert on the road. The driver could only sigh in resignation at this point. With diligence, he managed to fix the mess.
This ended a short, hopeful trip, but also opened up an important lesson about safety and careful inspection before use. No, I'm good. I think so. As the truck entered, a layer of mud covered it, slowing progress and teaching the driver a valuable lesson about caution and judgment. Everyone's calmness helped him overcome his fear and ensure safety when driving. The incident occurred when the M6 truck driver fell asleep on the road. That affected a series of cars, causing traffic jams, but fortunately no one was hurt. This luck sends a clear message about maintaining alertness while driving. Like a race against time in Queensland, the driver rushed to overtake the truck. This is a strong reminder to limit speed and obey traffic rules. Are you prepared for Christmas? At least prepare for the icy road. It's coming. We also have some t-shirts, so take a look if you see anything that might be suitable for your family member. The incident happened in New Zealand. You shouldn't use a heater to dry clothes. Remember to turn off the electrical appliances when leaving the house and when not in use. When watching this video, we hope you'll be calmer and always keep a safe distance when driving. Maybe the truck driver needs a pair of glasses to be able to see the rescue workers. I think you should be very alert and focused when driving. At first glance, their plans may be great, but physics will always have the final say. Imagine how a driver will feel when he has a bad day. Either way, stay safe. Oh. I hope the insurance company will compensate them for their losses. Choosing a large location as well as ensuring labor safety. Yep, it was a huge fail, but at least we got to see an impressive car wash, as well as a reminder not to drink and drive. Here's why a dash cam is absolutely worth the money you spend. Luckily, no one was hurt. Please pay attention to your distance when driving, drivers. Life has many surprises, so we need to be more careful and put safety first in all activities. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. See you again.